Hola chicos, hola todo el mundo, hello, hello, welcome to Kids Brain. Estamos aquí en Camilo José Cela, en Las Rosas, y hoy vamos a hacer un cuentacuentos, A Taste of the Moon, de qué sabe la luna. Y vamos a pasarlo muy bien y a aprender muchas cosas. ¿Qué tal estamos hoy? Yo soy Beverly, soy una profe que tenemos aquí en Catplain, eh, tenemos un montón de profes buenísimos y cada viernes vamos a hacer un taller aquí durante estas semanas para animaros a seguir aprendiendo y practicando el inglés. ¿Hay alguien por ahí? Hay que saludar. Hello, hello. Ok. Hello, Mar. How are you? How are you feeling today? Connie, hello. Malena, hello. How are you? How are you feeling today? Are you feeling hot? The temperatures have increased. Carmen, hello. How are you? Are we ready to practice some English? Okay, you're all good. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, we're going to start in a couple of minutes and we're going to start with a song in English. Excuse my singing. Okay. But the important thing is the good intention. Okay. So we're going to sing a little bit about how we're feeling today because if we always say, si siempre decimos, estoy bien, pues siempre suena lo mismo, it always sounds the same. Y nuestro estado de ánimo, our mood changes from day to day. ¿Verdad? Right? Some days we feel good, some days we feel great, sometimes we feel wonderful, sometimes we feel tired, sometimes we feel hungry, sometimes we feel a little sad. So we're going to practice a little song to practice some more vocabulary about feeling, moods, estados de ánimos. Vamos a cantar un poquito, ¿ok? Y me tenéis eh, que ayudar, ¿vale? Porque da un poco de corte cantar una sola, ¿ok? Tenéis que cantar conmigo. Esther, hola, ¿qué tal? Leo y Zoe, ¿qué tal estáis? A kiss for you, Leo and Zoe. Okay, we're going to start just now. Okay, so we're going to start a little song. Okay, please again, excuse my singing voice. And we're going to say, hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Y estamos diciendo, hola, 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 ¿qué tal estás? ¿Qué tal estáis? How are you? Okay. Hello, 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 how are you? Okay. Today we can say, I'm good. Estoy bien. I'm good. O podemos decir, I'm great, con dos dedos, okay? I'm great. Soy fenomenal. O podemos decir, I'm one. Wonderful today, okay? I'm wonderful today, que me encuentro super requete fenomenal hoy, okay? So, hello, hello, how are you, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Leo and Zoe, how are you today? Mar, how are you today? Are you good? Are you great? Are you fantastic? How do you feel today? Hi, Mary. Hi, Mateo. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Are you feeling hot? Are you enjoying the summer sun? Very hot here. Okay, we're going to continue with the song because I said things that I'm good. I'm okay. I'm great. And I'm wonderful. 
but also we can feel maybe hello hello i'm tired hello hello i'm tired so you can say that i'm sleepy okay i'm tired i'm hungry is anyone hungry oh you're all good you're great corny you're great fantastic okay and we can say I'm not so good, no soy tan bien. I'm not so good today. Okay? So tell me, hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Today, I, Beverly, I am feeling fantastic because it is Friday and we have the weekend in front of us, el fin de semana, okay? So I feel wonderful today. Sheila, hello. How are you? Leo, you're feeling good today. That's fantastic. That makes me happy. Hi, Sheila. Are you feeling fantastic today? I hope you're feeling fantastic. Okay, hello, Esther. Carmen. You don't know English, no sabes English, no pasa nada. Aquí vas a aprender. Here you're going to learn some English, Carmen. No problem. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so today, this afternoon or this evening, we're going to tell a story called A Taste of the Moon. En español se, se llama ¿Cómo se sabe la luna? Okay, ¿De qué se sabe la luna? What does the moon taste like? Okay, The moon comes out in the evening. Okay, The moon, la luna. We have the moon here and we have a lot of beautiful stars in the sky. Look how many beautiful stars in the sky. And we have the moon. What a beautiful scene. It's very relaxing. And we're going to tell a story about the moon and about some animals. Okay? Fantastic. Okay, so the moon in today's story is a full moon. It's luna llena. Okay? Pero no siempre está llena la luna. The, the moon's not always full. Sometimes we see the full moon. And sometimes we see just a part of the moon and it goes through different phases, fases diferentes de la luna. Muy interesante, it's very interesting to see. And all the stars and all the planets and all the astronomy, it's very interesting. Okay, who do we have here? Hello, Maria, hello. Happy faces, okay. So we're going to start just now with the story, okay? So once upon a time, okay, that's una vez, once upon a time, there were many little animals and some big animals that asked themselves, se preguntaron, de qué sabe la luna? What does the moon taste like? Okay, and, and they were imagining, they were thinking, what does the moon taste like? How can I find out what the moon tastes like? So first of all, there was a very brave, what is brave? Brave. How, brave. It's okay, what's this? Brave, valiente, okay? Hello, hello. There was a brave tortoise. Tortuga, tortoise or turtle, okay? And he decided bravely one evening that he was going to try to discover what the moon tasted like. He va a intentar averiguar de qué sabe la luna, okay? So here we have the moon and here we have a mountain, una montaña, okay? And we have... La tortuguita, 
que va muy despacio, va muy despacio, he goes slowly, 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 slowly. How do we say this in English? This little, this little animal here, the tortuguita. Oh, we have a lot of uh, emoticons from Leo. Hello, Leo, you're getting very excited there on the computer. How do we say this little animal in English? Okay, who was going to climb up to the top of the mountain. Okay, he's climbing up to the top of the mountain. And the tortuguita in English is called a tortoise, a tortoise. We can also say turtle, okay? Turtle, turtle or tortoise. So we have a tortoise. We're going to put his name beside him. So he climbed to the top of the mountain slowly, 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 slowly. And he tried to stretch, estirarse, to stretch up to the moon. But he was too little. He was too little. And his little legs didn't reach up to the moon. And he thought, hmm, what can I do? What can I do? And the little turtle was very clever. Era muy listo. And so he decided to call his friend Mr. Elephant. What is elephant? Elefante, okay? With a big trunk. He called his friend and said, Hey, Mr. Elephant, come and help me. Ven a ayudarme. Come and help me, Mr. Elephant. So, Mr. Elephant, Mr. Elephant, with his big long trunk, came to help his little friend, the tortoise. Okay? Boom, 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 boom. And the tortoise said, elephant, climb onto my back. So then Mrs. Baldas, okay, climb on my back. And Mr. Elephant said, okay, Mr. Tortoise, I'll climb on your back. And he went boom, boom, boom. And he climbed on the top of the tortoise's back. And just to help you, we're going to put elephant next to the drawing of Mr. Elephant, okay? So we have Mr. Tortoise and Mr. Elephant. And Mr. Elephant stretched and stretched and stretched and the moon, the moon decided, no, 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 no. I'm going to move a little bit further up in the sky. I don't want to make this game very easy for the animals. So the moon moved a little bit further up in the sky with all the pretty stars around. So Mr. Ellison was stretching and stretching with his big trunk and he didn't reach the moon. And they decided when they were talking to each other, they were thinking, how do you think the moon tastes? And the, the elephant was saying, I don't know, I'm not sure. And the little turtle said, it's because I've been thinking. He said, is the moon salty? Okay, does it taste salty? Salada. Like, for example, French fries in American English or chips in British English. Does it taste of something salty? Or does it taste of something sweet, dulce? Okay? Like ice cream. Doesn't this ice cream look delicious, especially in this very hot weather, okay? So here we have an ice cream. This is something sweet. 
Okay, so we have the turquoise and we have the elephant and they still cannot reach the moon. So they decide to call on a friend, a friend who has a very long neck. This is your neck. A friend who has a very, 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 very long neck. And they thought this will be the perfect friend to help us reach the moon. What can we call this friend with a very, 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 very long neck? Any idea? That has mantas, that has marks, different marks? It has a very long neck. Anyone? What's this animal called here? What's this animal called here? Look how long his neck is. He's a giraffe, okay? So Mr. Giraffe came along and he decided to jump up on top of Mr. Elephant's back, okay? He was jumping on top of Mr. Elephant's back. So there we're going to put him. Okay. And there we have Mr. Giraffe. And the moon saw that Mr. Giraffe had a very long neck. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm going to go higher up, higher up into the sky. So the moon moved a little bit higher up, a little bit further up into the sky. And even though, a pesar de, even though that Mr. Giraffe had a very long neck and he was stretching and stretching and stretching, he couldn't reach the moon. So the three of them were feeling a little bit sad. Remember at the start of the class, we were asking, hello, 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 how are you? Well, these three weren't feeling very happy because they really wanted to know what the moon tasted like. Okay, so then uh, Mr. Giraffe said, I have a friend called Mr. I'm not going to say the name. He has a friend who is black and white. And he's similar to a horse, but he has black and white stripes. Does anyone know the name of this animal in English? A little animal that looks like a horse, but has black and white stripes. A zebra, well done, okay? So Carmen said zebra. In British English, we say zebra. In American English, they say zebra. Both of them are perfectly okay. In British English, I say zebra, and my American friends will say zebra, okay? Your favorite animal, Rocio, okay? Your favorite animal, they are very beautiful. So along came Mr. Zebra. Okay, along came Mr. Zebra. Here he is here. Okay, and we're going to put him here with Mr. Giraffe. Okay, and Mr. Zebra was thinking, oh my goodness, okay, oh my goodness, I'm getting very high because he was on top of Mr. Turtle. And then Mr. Ellison and Mr. Giraffe and Mr. Zebra, and they're getting higher and higher and higher. And he was stretching and stretching, and still he couldn't reach the moon. And he was thinking, and they were all talking about the taste of the moon, and they're saying, is it salty, like chips, or french fries, or is it sweet, like ice cream? So they decided, hmm, they scratched their heads. La cabeza, and they scratched their head and they thought, is there anyone else here who can help us? And then they thought of someone that was very strong and that was a very good hunter, Caspador. <laughs> okay? With a very big mane of hair. What animal could this be? A majestic 
animal, a very majestic animal, like a very big cat, a very, 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 very big cat. Okay, Connie, you've got the emoticon of zebra, beautiful. Okay, so Mr. Zebra was calling to his friend. Which one? Lion! Lion! Come and help us! Come and help us! And the, exactly, the Lion King. But let's remember the ones who do all the work and a lot of the hunting are the mummy lions, the lionesses. Okay? The lionesses. So we can have the Lion King, but the Lion Queen is doing a lot of work as well, okay? So we're going to get the lion, okay? Now the lion's here, okay? And he can come to help because the mummy lion is out hunting, okay? So here we have Mr. Lion with his beautiful mane. M-A-R-N-A-E, -A -A, okay? Mane. This is the fur, the pelos that he has here. So Mr. Lion is coming to help. Okay, so Mr. Lion climbs up, stand up, stand up, and up, and he gets just on top of Mr. Zebra. And the moon again says, no, 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 you're not coming to get a taste of me. And he moves a little further up into the night sky. And he moves away, and the lion is strong and stretching, and he has his fangs, his colmillos. He's saying, "I can't get to the, I can't get to the moon." And then they all feel quite sad. They all feel sad. The turtle feels sad. The elephant feels sad. The giraffe feels sad. The zebra feels sad, and Mr. Lion feels sad too. They also feel. A little bit frustrated, un poco frustrados, no? When you can't do what you want to do. Okay, so then we have to decide if we have some more friends who can come to help us. And they all had a little thing. And they thought of one animal that's very clever, a very clever animal. And this is an animal that sometimes it lives in the wild. Okay, it's an animal salvaje. But we see them sometimes in cities. Well, in the United Kingdom, we see them in cities. In El Reino Unido, uh, we see them in cities. And this is an animal that's very clever. Very, very clever. Can you imagine what animal could be very clever? A fox, Mateo. Bravo, well done. So Mr. Fox came. Mr. Fox came to lend a hand. Echar una mano, Mr. Fox, that's right, okay? So here's Mr. Fox, and he's going to climb up and make the effort and climb up on top of his friend, okay? So he climbs up on top of Mr. Lion. There we have Mr. Fox, he's very clever. And he's stretching and he's stretching and he's trying very hard to reach but he can't do it he can't reach it the moon everyone again say vaya i can't believe it and they're all feeling sad and they're feeling hungry because they're dying to, to find out what the moon tastes like so then they decide let's bring someone here that's a little bit cheeky Cheeky is like listo, no? Sabioso. Um, and someone that looks like us a little bit. Okay, someone that looks a little bit mono monkey. Yes, exactly. Leo monkey, the monkey came. Okay, Mr. Monkey came. Here he is. Mr. Monkey came, so you're all doing very well, yes, very good, Leo, very good, Connie, Monkey, Monkey came, and he went on to Mr. Fox, okay, 
And the moon said, no, 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 no. I'm going to move further away, okay? And Mr. Monkey was very cheeky and very naughty and he started jumping, 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 jumping and stretching and stretching and stretching. And he couldn't reach the moon. And all the animals were saying, monkey, stop jumping, you're going to make us fall. And everyone was feeling very sad, okay? And they said, we have a tower, una torre, we have the mountain, we have the tortoise, we have the elephant, the giraffe with the very long neck, we have the zebra, the lion, the fox, and the cheeky little monkey, and they still can't reach the moon. So they're feeling frustrated and they're thinking, okay, what can we do? Time is moving on, time is marching on. What can we do to taste the moon? And they decide to bring a little friend, okay? A little friend, a little friend who likes to eat cheese. Can you think of any little animal that likes to eat cheese very much? They're small and they have their uh, little uh, tails. A mouse, very good, Mateo, a mouse, a little mouse came, and in plural, we don't say mouses, okay, ratones, we say mice, okay? So we have a beautiful little mouse, okay? Very good, okay, Carmen, well done. Fantastic, okay? So then we got the mouse. Right at the top, the smallest little animal right at the top. And the moon said, you know what? This little mouse is not going to reach me and I'm getting bored of this game. I'm not going to, I'm not going to play anymore. And the little mouse was very brave and he tried to stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. And he stretched so much that he got a slice of the moon. He got a slice of the moon. And he said, fantastic. Now we can all taste the moon and we can see what it tastes of. Okay, so Mr. Mouse took a little bite, un mordisco of the moon and he was eating and he said mmm this is the most delicious food in the whole world for me what is the most delicious food for a mouse is it carrot is it spaghetti is it pizza what, what do mice like to eat we said it before they love cheese mice love cheese okay so when Mr. Mouse was eating the, a slice of the moon, he said, this tastes like the most delicious in the world. Cheese, queso, very good, okay? So Mr. Mouse had a bite of the moon, and for him, it tasted like cheese, okay? And then he decided to pass on the slice of the moon to his friend, Mr. Monkey. So we go to Mr. Monkey. Yum, 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 have a little bite. And Mr. Monkey said, oh my goodness, this is so delicious. It tastes just like the sweetest bananas I've ever tasted. What are bananas? Bananas are platanos, okay? And the monkey said that the moon tasted like the sweetest, most delicious bananas he had ever eaten in his whole life. So Mr. Monkey decided that the moon tasted of bananas. And then he said, okay, I'm finished. Mr. Fox, do you want to taste the moon? And Mr. Fox said, yes, 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 yes I want to taste the moon. So he goes to Mr. Fox and Mr. Fox said, nom, 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 
and everyone's looking and they say, okay, Mr. Fox, for you, what does the moon taste like? And he said, it tastes like chicken. What is chicken? What's chicken? For Mr. Fox, it tasted exactly the same delicious chicken for you. Okay? So Mr. Fox was very happy. He said it tastes exactly like chicken. And then Mr. Fox was happy and he said, okay, Lion, I'm going to pass this little piece of moon to you. And he passed it to the lion and the lion was very, very hungry. And he said, nom, 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 with his big fangs, they call me yours. And he was eating and eating. Okay. Chicken, yes, very good. Okay. Do you all like chicken? Everyone likes chicken. I love chicken. Okay, so Mr. Lion was eating and eating and eating and he said, this is delicious. And he said, this to me tastes like meat, red meat, from a carne roca, okay, red meat. So we're going to put this, look at this, meat, okay. The lion said that the moon to him tasted like the most delicious meat in the world. Now, this is summer, and we're going to start barbecue barbacoa soon. Do you all like having chicken and meat and all these delicious things on a barbecue in summer? Carmen, you love chicken. You love chicken. Okay, so the lion, for him, it tasted like meat. Okay, and then we pass on the piece of cheese to the zebra. Now the zebra is a herbivore. A herbivore means that they only eat vegetables or grasses, okay? And for the zebra, he said that the moon tasted like the most delicious, sweet, tender, tierno grass in the whole world. And he took a very big bite. So he had some grass and he thought it was delicious, absolutely delicious. So the zebra decided that the moon tasted like grass. And from then, we move on to the giraffe with a very long neck. Now, what do giraffe like to eat? Giraffes are very tall. They have very long necks. And they can reach, pueden alcanzar, los árboles y las hojas, the leaves on the tree, okay? So, the giraffe said that the moon, for him, tasted like the most delicious, sweetest, freshest leaves in the whole world. So the giraffe had the leaves. And then we get to the penultimate animal, the elephant, with the very long trunk, okay? And do you have any idea what elephants sometimes like to eat? I like to eat them too. How do you say cacahuetes in English? Any idea? Do you know how to say this in English? No, no, exactly, Connie, no emojis for grass. Okay, well, elephants, elephants like to eat peanuts, cacahuetes, okay? Elephants like to eat peanuts. So the elephant tasted the moon, and for him, he decided like it tasted like the most delicious, crunchiest, tastiest peanuts that he'd ever tasted in his life. And then finally, we got to Mr. Tortoise, who had been so patient, okay? And it was his idea. 
And Mr. Tortoise was so excited and he got his little bite, okay? His little bite of the moon. And he felt so happy. And what do Tortoise like to eat? Yes, peanuts for Mr. Elephant and leaves for the giraffe. Very good. Okay, so what the little tortoise decided was that the moon tasted like the crunchiest, crispiest, freshest lettuce, lechuga, in the whole world. Who likes lettuce? Who likes very good, Matteo, lettuce? Who likes lettuce? I like lettuce. Children, do you like lettuce? Lettuce is very good for you, okay? Lettuce is very good for you. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to revise what all of the animals thought that the moon tasted like. For each individual animal, they had an idea what the moon tasted like. The tortoise thought it tasted like lettuce, como lechuga, okay? Delicious and fresh and healthy. And the elephant thought it tasted like peanuts, nice crunchy peanuts, okay? And we get to Mr. Giraffe with a very, very long neck and he decided that the moon tasted like the best, sweetest leaves he had ever eaten in his whole life. The zebra decided that the moon tasted like the most delicious grass he had ever eaten in his whole life. And the lion thought that it tasted like the most succulent, juicy meat that he had ever eaten before. Mr. Fox said that it tasted like chicken. Most of us like chicken. He said it tasted like delicious chicken. The monkey was very happy, the cheeky one who was jumping and jumping and jumping. And he said it tasted like the sweetest, most delicious banana. And we get to the top and the lovely little mouse said that it tasted like the most delicious cheese he had ever eaten in his whole life. So now I'm going to put the little piece of the moon back. Okay, so when they first asked, does the moon taste sweet or salty? Well, it didn't taste nor sweet nor salty. It was a mixture of a lot of different flavors and a lot of different textures. And it was the favorite, favorite dish of every animal, okay? And for example, for you, if you had to choose your most favorite dish or flavor or texture in the whole world, what would you choose? What would you like the moon to taste of? I would like the moon to taste of salmorejo because it's my favorite food in the whole world, okay? So I want the moon to taste of salmorejo. What do you want the moon to taste of? Chocolate, cake, a uh, tortilla de patatas. Okay. Okay, I just have to fix the board again. I'm sorry. Okay. What would you like? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Okay, you would like it. Pink or white. Okay. Marshmallows are very nice. Okay, so then as, ev as every and potatoes, Ah, ah, Mateo, but I think you mean, what do you mean, Mateo? Do you mean patatas fritas, como de, de aquí, like these ones, chips, or do you mean pat patatas fritas de bolsa? Which one do you mean? Do you mean chips or crisps or french fries? Juices, sweeties, Carmen, you want sweets. Okay, sweets are nice as well from time to time. We have potatoes. Sweets as well, Leo. You like sweets as well. What are your favorite sweets? What are your favorite sweets? In American English, we say candy. Candy. And in British English, we say sweets 
or sweetie. Okay, so we have different words for chuches. Cauliflower. Ah, chips, Mateo, chips. Okay, now I am, yes, I like those very much. I like those very much too. So can we decide, can we think of what the moral, the moraleja, the moral of this story is about the moon and about the animals helping each other to find out what the moon tasted of? Moraleja, yes, the moral of the story. Okay, I'm going to put up the half moon here. Well, the moral of the story, the moral is something that's very, very important. Very, very important in life. It's that if you need help, if we need help, that you learn how to ask for help and you learn how to give help and ask help and be a good friend and help each other. Because if you help your friend today, tomorrow your friend will help you. And we all have to work together, sometimes, many times, to reach our objectives and reach our goals. And this is something, this is algo, que nos echamos de menos, that we miss very much just now. We miss our friends, we miss giving them hugs, we miss talking to them and laughing with them and seeing them in person. But hopefully, soon, we're going to get to see our friends and give them all the hugs that we can give them and help everyone that we can. Because lending a hand, echando una mano, is very, very important in this life. Okay, now I hope that you enjoyed the story this afternoon. Okay, espero que lo hayáis pasado muy bien. Muchas gracias por participar. Thank you very, very much for participating. A big thank you from everyone at Kids Brain. Okay. A big thank you from everyone at WikiUp for joining us and helping us with this uh, story. And we really hope that you will come back again next Friday to see us with the next workshop. Okay. So a big kiss. From everyone here at Wiki Up and Kids Brains, we miss you very much and we cannot wait to see you in person, crossing our fingers in September and to have lots of fun and learn lots of English and see all your beautiful little faces again. So until then, have a fantastic weekend. I hope you get to taste some delicious ice cream this weekend. It's going to be very hot. And the big kiss from everyone here at Kids Brain. Okay, bye bye.